Hello again! Another snapshot related video where I use command blocks. So what's this one about? Imagine you have an adventure map or something where you want the following effect. Oh, nice message. What happens? Ah, yeah, I see it. We should totally go there. Okay, some of you may wonder what was so special about this. Okay, now with coordinates, keep an exact eye on what coordinates I currently have, the exact amount. And see what happens. Nothing. All that happens is that I change my orientation, but not my current position in the world. And how did I do that? Let's go to the flat world and cover a bit of theory. Okay, for this trick I used a combination of teleportation and the new entity selector. Teleportation in Minecraft from entity to entity works by copying the position and orientation data of the target entity into the teleporting entity. So when a player teleports to an entity, we won't only get the position of the target entity, we also will look in the same direction. And that's what I use for this, for example. I will summon a leash knot with a very specific orientation, and then directly afterwards teleport towards that leash knot. And that results in this. If I press this button, I will get placed at the position of the leash knot and look in the same direction. Um, the advantage of this leash knot is that it doesn't interfere with the world and directly disappears, so that's why I use it. But you also can see the disadvantage here. I can set the player to a certain orientation, but I will also set him to a very specific coordinate. And what you saw previously was a change of the orientation, but staying at the same position. For that we have to get a little bit more tricky. We use stacked entities. In my case I use two ender crystals. Hmm? Ah, okay. So, two ender crystals which are riding on top of each other. So the idea is that I will have the lower entity teleporting to me and dragging with it the riding upper entity. The lower entity is just there to provide us with current position information so that the upper entity knows where I'm standing. But since I'm only teleporting the lower entity, the upper entity won't get set to my current orientation and can stay in its original orientation, which we then can teleport towards. So we first create this stacked entity, my case two ender crystals riding on top of each other. Then I will teleport the lower one, that's um, normally the younger one, so I use c equals minus one towards me. This will drag the older one, the upper entity, with it. Then I will teleport towards the upper entity, which still has its original orientation data. But since the upper entity is a little bit higher than I was originally standing, I need to get teleported directly down by 3.5 blocks in case of ender crystals. And in the end I will just destroy them with the kill command. Um, the advantage of ender crystals is that on one hand the system works and on the other hand uh, there's a little glitch where unless I'm relogging I won't see the ender crystals new position and it will seem like they are still standing where I summoned them. See I switched the orientation here and you could briefly see uh, yeah let me s this way um, I didn't destroy them now you can see they seem to be still there, but they are actually somewhere here. So that's a nice little addition to what they can do. And that's uh, the whole trick already. Um, yeah, let me destroy them first. That way. Currently I set them to uh, 270 degrees, which is that direction. So it works um, south as 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 or 0 degrees. And um, the pitch is, I believe, positive up to 90 degrees down and negative up to 90 degrees up. So with that you can set orientation of the player no matter where he stands. And with the other method you can change the orientation of a player at a specific location. What I still can't do is manipulate the orientation of only the horizontal or vertical line, but 
I think that's enough for one day. Maybe you'll find this useful somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.